hello Chella Creates here today I wanted to do a quick um, update video on my diamond painting that I'm currently working on it's called the black swan it's from dreamers designs hence this little diamond art tray I'm holding um, so I was chosen to be a dreamer designs dream team member ambassador and um i'm really excited about it it's, it's been a great opportunity i received a free diamond art canvas to work on which is this one um and the company what i'm learning from um doing diamond art painting is that not all canvases and not all diamond art is going to be the same you're going to find that sometimes you run into cheaper canvases. Like if you go to AliExpress and you order some, you'll get something much cheaper. It'll be really beautiful, but it might be a little bit more tedious to work on. Um, and some of the more expensive canvases, the quality of the canvas is better. The quality of the glue is better. Um, and the quality of your diamonds are better. So... For the diamond, for the Dreamer Designs um, project, I purchased these lockables because they gave you a whole lot of diamonds. And so I needed to get lockables because it was that many diamonds per project. So these are all the diamonds for this canvas. Look at this, guys. Look how many diamonds are in there. This thing is full. I normally use these little trays. This is what I normally use for a diamond art painting. But the Dreamer design came with lots and lots of very beautiful, good quality diamonds. So that is the first thing that I can appreciate from that company. Um, the diamonds aren't sticking together. They're not like all little funny shapes they're all the shape that they're supposed to be square um and the other thing i like is the quality of the canvas like i mentioned before and, and the adhesive let me turn my little light on i can see the symbols clearly so yeah so i am truly enjoying working on this canvas oh, come on light stay on um, the only thing that kind of sticks out for me because I've never worked on a, um, a canvas that had this much, like, it's almost like a watercoloring painting, but the, the original artwork I think is, um, I'm not going to say it's watercoloring, but it's, it's, it's art. You know, it's not a, it's not a graphic, it's art. So the lines aren't as hard as a normal artwork that I've done in the past, which had very hard lines, so you can see the definition in each piece. Whereas this is more kind of like a watercolor painting, so the, it doesn't have those hard lines, so it's kind of hard to define each piece. And um, so as I'm working on it, I'm like, well, is that a flower or is that the water? But what I'm finding is once um done with a section then it then the then it becomes what it's supposed to be so um hope i'm not confusing people but basically as i go along it might look a little crazy or warped like it doesn't make sense or doesn't look like the original image but as i go further and further and get more and more complete it really starts to open up and i start to really see the art that's in the um, diamond art piece. So for those who are beginners and are jumping on my video because they want to learn more about diamond art painting, um, I this is a diamond art pen. I, I need to remember the name of the vendor, but she basically took a pen and put the little diamond art piece drill thing to pick up your drills i don't know the lingo yet i'm sorry at the bottom 
and I'm going to find her and I'm going to tag her in this video because I've had this for a very long time, probably since I started doing diamond art painting and it has survived and it's my favorite, favorite tool to use. Um, so yes, I will definitely tag her. I want to say her shop is Turtle Cheek, the Turtle Cheek or something to that nature, but I'll tag her. Um, and basically when you're doing a diamond art painting, you're going to have these diamond, these drills, and each one of them is going to coordinate with one of these symbols. So right now I'm working with this symbol, 796. And so I will go to my case and I look for 796. And then I just take some of the 796 out and I pour it into my tray. Swish my tray around a little bit. And then I get to painting. And anything with this symbol, the 796 symbol in it, will get this diamond. And it basically, everything kind of adheres to its, on its own because it has adhesive on it. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Easy breezy. And I really enjoy it. Let me see if I can get you a little bit closer so you can see the section I'm working in. So this is the section I'm working in right now. And these are, these are flowers. And I, as I put more and more diamonds, they come alive more. And then I get to really see... Yeah, these are flowers. They're beautiful. And that's the fun of the diamond art painting. It's just when you first start doing it, it just looks like a bunch of little diamonds. But as you get through the canvas, then you start to see the artwork pop. And that is basically what makes it so much fun. Um, so yeah, so I... Just want to say that um, I am enjoying working on the Dreamers Design Canvas. It is a good quality canvas, good quality drills. It comes with a tool, a tray, and wax. And it definitely will be on the top of my companies I purchased from. Um, prior to Dreamer, prior to being introduced to Dreamer Design, of course, I was ordering from um, Diamond Art Club. And um, one time I ordered from AliExpress, and that's a nightmare, which is a beautiful piece of artwork that I really, really like. But um, the canvas sucks. Like, the drills are either too small or too big. I don't know which one. They just don't fit in the box correctly. Um, well, we'll say for, for sake of this argument, we'll say the drills are too big. Because when you put them in the squares, they spill off to the side so they in essence start to cover the subsequent number next to it therefore it's hard for me to see what symbol I need to use for the next square so it's been a heartache because I really like the work artwork but I don't like the canvas at all but I'm not giving up on it I will complete it in fact I probably will work on it this evening while I'm watching um, Star Trek, because I have to catch up. I am not caught up on Star Trek. And I, and I think I also have to catch up on a few of my other shows, The Good Doctor and um, The Resident. I don't know if you guys watched The Resident, but that, I forget his name, but the main character, the guy, the doctor guy, he is a cutie. Yes. Yeah, so that's why I watch the show. Not because, you know, I like watching doctor shows. It's because I want to watch a cute doctor save people. Um, anyway, what am I talking? I'm supposed to be talking about diamond painting. So anyway, diamond painting is fun. It's relaxing. See how I'm just babbling off as I fill in these squares. Easy breezy. Um, yeah, if you ladies are interested in learning how to diamond art paint, and if you're local and you know me, 
feel free to stop by. I will definitely show you some of my artwork and I will help you start your own if you're interested. And I will give you suggestions on um, reputable companies. Like right now, like I said, Diamond Art Club and Dreamer Designs is probably my top favorites. Um, because the other one that I explored with, um, what I bought from a craft show, it was a scrapbook expo. Okay, so I'm done with that shape. I gotta move on to a different shape. So now I am going to pour these lockables are super cute because they really lock and you have to press this button to unlock it. Super cool. So I'm going to pour the little drills that I have left in here right back in there. And then I'm going to look for my next symbol, which the next symbol I'm going to be working on is 892. Right here. So, I'm going to look for my little tray, my little box with the number 892 in it, which is this one. Then I'm just going to grab some of 892 diamonds out. And voila. And these are really pretty. Look at that color. So pretty. Love it. Love that color. And then, oh, if I got a blue one in there. How'd I do that? This is when the magic happens. You know, I watch some girls <laughs> do their videos and they just shake it one time. I need to figure out how you shake this one time and all the diamonds just line up perfectly. I am not that good yet. But basically, you shake them up so that they're all facing down and it's easier for you to pick up the diamond. And then you just grab them. Stick them in. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is what I'm using. I don't use the wax that comes with the kits. Sometimes I do, but most of the times I use this instant tacky. And it looks like this. Um and you basically would just take like a little, see like this little piece hanging off? I would take that little piece hanging off and I would just stick it into my pen like that. And that's it. And then you just keep forcing it in, forcing it in, forcing it in, and then you get rid of the excess. And there you go. So that helps you to pick up the drill and yeah boom drill ready oh, I dropped it so that is how you do that sometimes I have to pick up more excess off of it and get enough off so yeah that's it so this is usually what I do when I'm watching Netflix and just chilling at home. I find it very relaxing. Oh, I forgot that color. I gotta get that color out again. So yeah. Alright guys, I think I've shown you enough for the day. Just wanted to do an update on my Dreamer Designs Black Swan. As you can see how beautiful she's coming along. And I haven't filled in the swan yet. I think I'm going to leave her for last. Her, her beak is filled in, but the rest of her isn't. And uh, these flowers are gorgeous. And that's how much I have left. So, I'm not going to edit this video. I'm going to post it as is. And hopefully, I've helped you ladies out. If you want to learn more about diamond art painting, please feel free to comment or contact me. And I can help you get started. Okay, have a blessed day. Bye.